Hey, hi, hello there. It has been an amazing day for me, and for, for so many reasons. I, I, I just want to go into it and talk to you a little bit about it. Yesterday, not a great day, but a, it was a good feeling day. Today was a, I don't know, it was just a really hyper, really happy day for me. So, uh, started off the morning, had to go to work as usual, blah, blah, blah. It's a, it's a Tuesday morning, Tuesday evening here, actually, so worked all day. Uh, however, after just an hour or two, the mail guy came by at work and said, Look, you've got a package! And I opened it up. It was a shirt that I had purchased from Woot.com. Don't know if you can see that very well, but it is the word coexist spelled out with operating system logos. And you've got the Apple logo, the Ubuntu logo, Debian logo, uh, SkyOS logo. That one I'm not terribly familiar with. Feel free to let me know more about it in the comments. I did check their website, and it's not Linux, but it they, they messed with it. I don't know. Uh, what else we've got? Chrome OS, uh, Solaris, and Windows. And basically, I don't want to say that I'm a fanboy of every single operating system out there, but I do think that there is a way that we can all peacefully coexist. Uh, so many people are out to fix, uh, like Canonical's bug number one, where Ubuntu should be the, the top, or no, where Microsoft should not be number one. And yes, that is great, but that does not mean that Ubuntu should be number one. It does not mean Linux or Mac or anything should be number one. Uh, ideally, in a, in a perfect, magical, wonderful, My Little Pony world society, that one was for you, Guar, uh, the, the operating systems would have somewhere closer to an equal split among market share which would mean that developing for one platform, why not just develop for all platforms? And with services like uh, the, the OpenSUSE build service that has been used recently, and actually just today, I'm going to be talking about this in the news video, uh, the people that build Chrome, Google's web browser, they use their very own build service because the, the GNU compiler was a little bit too slow to start up for them. It took about 10 seconds to get it to start, so they wrote their own, they're calling it Ninja, and they open sourced it this week, and uh, it, it starts up within a second or less than a second and compiles for all of the major modern platforms. I, I, I've just got a feeling that once something, like, once something like that becomes more mainstream, there will be more reason to compile for more distros, so more companies might take advantage of it. Just throwing that out there. Uh, I'll try to put a link to the Ninja article in the, uh, in the source code below, the doobly-doo, the descrippy, the... Fla fla fla. The, let me see how many of these that I can borrow from other people. Uh, lots of great YouTubers out there. Lots of them use their own name for the description box. Uh, source code is the one that I've come up with. I, I'm not really stuck to it or anything, but but I, I do like the the message this sort of conveys is that uh, that we should all sort of be be harmonious in our operating systems. We should not be uh, fighting back and forth. We should not be saying you know this sucks or that sucks. Continuing the the talk that I was talking about yesterday, saying that one thing or another sucks. Uh, no, at, at the end of the day, the operating system is just a tool, and we are the consumer that's using it. It really doesn't matter what one you use, and in theory, it should be a seamless experience from one to the other, but in reality, that's, <laughs> that's a long way from now. But, so that was a great way to start off the morning. Uh, by the way, if you are not familiar with it, this came from woot.com, shirt.woot.com. Uh, they had what's called a Woot-Off, where they were just selling items one after another, and one of the items was a 15% off uh, of all of their shirts that were, were on the Reckoning, which is they're uh, on the way out. They're not going to be selling them anymore. So this was like $12. I haven't had a chance to try it on yet, but it is extremely soft. This is my first shirt purchase from Woot, but I have bought a couple of other things from them in the past. Uh, very very awesome to see a retailer like that, and more and more retailers like that are springing up, the one deal a day type sites. But anyway, moving on with things. As I told you guys in the past, I've been working at my, my day job learning about .NET Nuke, which is a C-sharp based, ASP.NET based CMS, content management system. It is open source, which is awesome, and I am allowed to use it at work, which is even more awesome. Uh, so I've been trying to implement that for a site that, that uh, they're wanting to create at work, that they want it created within a week. So I very quickly learned it and uh, put it out there on the web. And today, I got the opportunity to teach the three people that are going to be maintaining it how to use it. And this was another wonderful part of the day. Within 20 to 30 minutes, I had shown them how to create new content, how to move things around to the different content blocks, uh, changing fonts and uh, inserting images and creating whole new pages and where to put them in the menu template structure. Yeah, it was a wonderful experience. 
I have done a lot of teaching and training at my current job with regard to web stuff, and this has to be one of the easiest ones that I've done. So I am very pleased with the way that turned out. The third thing, and quite possibly the most awesome thing, that happened today. And it could be the most awesome thing that's happened to me in a long time. And it's going to sound silly, but whatever. Uh, my wife called me yesterday or the day before and said, uh, you know what Dr. Oz is? I said, eh, maybe. I've heard of it. I'm not sure. It's something to do with Oprah. It's a show that Oprah got started where this doctor, I don't know, he gives advice on TV. Uh, anyway, he was doing a giveaway. A bunch of different giveaways, and one of them was for a Nook, the original wireless Nook. Not the 3G one, not the Nook Color, the original one, uh, which is still $150 on Barnes Noble's website. Well, on a whim, uh, I took the link that she sent me, went to their website, filled it out. I won. <laughs> awesome. They, they, were, uh, they were giving away 600 of them. I found a thread on slickdeals.net where people were applying for it as well, so there were actually a lot of people on there that ended up winning as well. Uh, I was almost tempted to say that everyone who had applied ended up winning. I don't know, my, my wife did not enter, so who knows if everybody won or not. So, but anyway, I got a, a email from them with a coupon code, went to Barnes & Noble's website, ordered it, and hopefully it will be here before the week is up. And because it does run Linux, I will be doing an unboxing, I will be doing an initial review, maybe even doing some hacking type stuff on it, you know, rooting it and uh, installing additional apps, tutori tutorials related to it, I don't know. But anyway, that was just, it blew me away, it really sort of, it was a, a really bright spot in the day for me. And I know it's kind of silly for that to be a bright spot, it's, it's a material possessions type thing, but either way, it does help to brighten the mood a little bit. So I am very much looking forward to that. You may or may not be able to see it, but in the background I've got a video rendering, probably done, let me know in the comments, I can't look. Uh, but uh, it's the Debian 6 uh, initial first look, and actually it's more of a full review, because I went in-depth into what Debian is and why people use it and what makes it different and it was more of a review than I think I've done in a long time. Uh, so it was like nine minutes long. So after that's done I'm going to upload it, I'm going to edit and upload this video and then I'm going to get to work on, I think I'm going to go ahead and shoot a news video tonight to upload tomorrow morning, uh, which would be Wednesday morning, then I will do another video Friday evening to Saturday. My family's coming in this weekend so the weekend is going to be kind of tight for time. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Just wanted to let you guys know, today was an amazing day. Uh, please let me know in the comment section below how things are going for you. If things are going well, awesome. If they are not, let me know what we can do to help out. Uh, I'm sure the people in the comments would love to help, and I would love to hear it. I'd love to, love to help if I can. Uh, if you don't want to talk about it in the comments, feel free to stop by the forum. Forums.thisweekinlinux.com. have a link down there. Uh, as well, you can come by the IRC channel and hang out. It's chat.thisweekinlinux.com or pound T-W-I-L on irc.freenode.net. Rambling is over for now, though. I hope you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you again very soon.